Individual action on climate change can include personal choices in many areas, including consumption of goods and services, including household energy use, long and short distance travel mechanisms, food and diet choices, and family size. Individuals can also engage in local and political advocacy around issues of climate change. The IPCC Fifth Assessment Report emphasizes that behavior, lifestyle and cultural change have a high mitigation potential in some sectors, particularly when complementing technological and structural change. In general, higher consumption lifestyles have a greater environmental impact. Several scientific studies have shown that when people, especially those living in developed countries but more generally including all countries, wish to reduce their carbon footprint, there are four key, high impact actions they can take. Not having an additional child 58.6 tons CO2 equivalent emission reductions per year Living car free 2.4 tons CO2 Avoiding one round trip transatlantic flight 1.6 tons Eating a plant-based diet 0.8 tons These appear to differ significantly from the popular advice for greening one's lifestyle, which seem to fall mostly into the low-impact category, replacing a typical car with a hybrid 0.52 tons, washing clothes in cold water 0.25 tons, recycling 0.21 tons, upgrading light bulbs 0.10 tons, etc. The researchers found that public discourse on reducing one's carbon footprint overwhelmingly focuses on low-impact behaviors, and that mention of the high-impact behaviors is almost non-existent in the mainstream media, government publications, K-12 school textbooks, etc. The researchers added that our recommended high-impact actions are more effective than many more commonly discussed options e.g. eating a plant-based diet saves eight times more emissions than upgrading light bulbs. More significantly, a U.S. family who chooses to have one fewer child would provide the same level of emissions reductions as 684 teenagers who choose to adopt comprehensive recycling for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> family size Although having fewer children is the individual action that most effectively reduces a person's climate impact, the issue is rarely raised, and it is arguably controversial due to its very private nature. Even so, ethicists, some politicians such as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and others have started discussing the climate implications associated with reproduction. Topic. Travel and commuting In the United States, perception towards climate change influenced people to change their travel lifestyle. More than a third of Americans have changed their travel habits in 2008, versus only 14% in 2007. Cars, purchasing a vehicle which gets high gas mileage helps to reduce emissions of carbon dioxide. Flying, avoiding air travel and particularly frequent flyer programs has a high benefit because the convenience makes frequent, long-distance travel easy, and high-altitude emissions are more potent for the climate than the same emissions made at ground level. Walking and running are among the least environmentally harmful modes of transportation, followed by cycling. <inaudible> <inaudible> Diet and food A carbon diet is an effective way to understand the amount of impact on the environment and how to make meaningful changes. 
A low-carbon diet is a way of reducing impact by choosing food that causes much less pollution. Trees, protecting forests and planting new trees contributes to the absorption of carbon dioxide from the air. There are many opportunities to plant trees in the yard, along roads, in parks, and in public gardens. In addition, some charities plant fast-growing trees—for as little as 10 cents per tree—to help people in tropical developing countries restore the productivity of their lands. Conversely, clearing old growth forests adds to the carbon in the atmosphere, so buying non old growth paper is good for the climate as well as the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Home energy Reducing home energy use through measures such as insulation, better energy efficiency of appliances, and improving heating and cooling efficiency can significantly reduce individuals' carbon footprints. In addition, the choice of fuel used to heat, cool, and power homes makes a difference in the carbon footprint of individual homes. Many energy suppliers in various countries worldwide have options to purchase part or pure green energy. The wind energy produced in Denmark, for example, provides about 20% of the country's total electricity needs. These methods of energy production emit no greenhouse gases once they are up and running. Carbon offsets – The principle of carbon offset is thus, one decides that they don't want to be responsible for accelerating climate change, and they've already made efforts to reduce their carbon dioxide emissions, so they decide to pay someone else to further reduce their net emissions by planting trees or by taking up low-carbon technologies. Every unit of carbon that is absorbed by trees, or not emitted due to your funding of renewable energy deployment offsets the emissions from their fossil fuel use. In many cases, funding of renewable energy, energy efficiency, or tree planting particularly in developing nations can be a relatively cheap way of making an individual carbon neutral. Carbon offset providers some as inexpensive as 11 cents per metric ton, 10 cents per US ton of carbon dioxide a referenced below under lifestyle action installing rooftop solar both on a household and community scale also drastically reduces household emissions and at scale could be a major contributor to greenhouse gas abatement topic personal consumption labels the energy star label can be seen on many household appliances home electronics office equipment heating and cooling equipment windows residential light fixtures and other products energy star products use less energy equals equals see also